questions because today you, we are going to learn how to cook chicken in your home for under two dollars. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Cooking with Flynn. I'm your host today, Flynn. I'm always your host, Flynn. Okay, let's get right to it. And today I'm going to talk to you about what to do on Sunday. Why Sunday? Because Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday where the Baltimore Ravens are going to play against the Carolina Panthers. That's right, Carolina Panthers in the Super Bowl. Okay, but you realize that you don't have any money. Then you also realize that today is Friday and Super Bowl is on Sunday and you want fresh food, but there's no Chick-fil-A open. What are you going to do? I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. First thing you're going to do, you are going to, don't panic. You're going to sit back, relax, and watch me tell you exactly what to do. Okay, welcome back to Cooking with Flynn, where today we are going to learn how to make chicken nuggets. Okay, first thing you need to do is have the chicken. Let's go get the chicken. Okay, we got chicken in this bag. Why is it in the bag? Because we took it from somebody's house. That's why. Okay, we got a chicken breast. Okay, here we go. We got chicken breast. Okay, we got some chili powder. Now, all these ingredients that I'm going over, use your imagination, okay? For every cup of flour that we're going to use, we're going to use one tablespoon full of seasoning. Seasoned salt. We got uh, parsley flakes that add some grain to it. We got some ground cinnamon. We got some onion powder. We also have some ground black pepper. We got some lemon pepper. And we got an onion for the onion rings we're gonna make. And we got two eggs. We're gonna use the two eggs for the batter for the onions. Uh, we got some oil. Uh, right now, today we're using vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil. Uh, you know, vegetable, onion oil, I mean, use your imagination, whatever oil you want to use, be free, feel free to use it. Uh, we got a cutting board that we're going to cut the onion on and chicken, and we got a deep fryer. Okay, let's get to it. Right now, what I'm going to do is cut up the chicken, uh, cut up the onions, and uh, show you how to do it. Alright, let's do it. You know, Onions are um, interesting things. For example, um, my dad loves onions. I hate onions. But they put, anything tastes good when you deep fry it. You know what I'm talking about? Like deep fried Snickers, whatever. Okay. A bunch of slices of onions, about a quarter inch thick. There's one. Here's another. Now, what I'm cutting right now is sweet onions. Why? Because who wants sour onions, really? Eat a couple of people. All right, now after you cut the onions, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we got the rings of them. We got rings, we got rings. We're gonna, put the onion, we're gonna put the onion rings to the side. I'm crying right now because it's, you know, cooking means a lot to me. And uh, every time I cook, I always start to cry. Gosh. Now I'm pretty sure there's a, a better way to cut onions, but uh, I'm not aware of that right now. If you know a better way to cut onions, just please let me know, uh, send me an email that W, uh, not W, but if you send me an email to Jerome Fleming at G, Jerome S. Fleming at gmail.com and I will definitely take into consideration because as you can see, I'm, I'm crying. Uh, I can't see right now, so I'm doing everything blind. Cooking blind, y'all. Cooking blind. Woo! All right. We got the egg in there. We're going to mix it up. I'm crying. Oh, I can't see nothing. The cooking means this much to me, you know. So we're gonna put the ah, we'll put that over there. Then we're gonna mix this up for a while. Can you see the tears coming down? Those are real tears, y'all. Cause I love cooking for y'all, you know. It means so much to me. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna. Uh, we got the. Uh, we got the onion rings soaking in milk. We're gonna let that. We're gonna put this to the side. We're going to take care of the chicken, okay? Okay, now uh, now we got our tears out of the way. We got the onion tears. We're going to put this to the side. Now, next we're going to do, we're going to take the chicken. The chicken, we're going to uh, take uh, your chicken breast. Oh, we're going to take your chicken breast and we're going to cut it up in uh, small bite-sized pieces, okay? Next thing we're going to do, we're going to rinse the chicken off and we're going to cut them in small bite-sized pieces. And I'll show you what to do next. So we're going to cut the chicken up in bite-sized pieces. Uh, whatever size you like, uh, you know, you can do chicken strips, chicken nuggets, uh, chicken, uh, chicken balls, you know, whatever you want, you know, but uh, just cut them up in small pieces, because the smaller, uh, just think about it. the small pieces you have, the more chicken you have, so people say, 
you know, two slices per person, so you make the chicken go a little further, you know? You got to think economically in these tough economic times. And that too, we're gonna put to the side and we're gonna let it soak in uh, milk and uh, egg. We're gonna let that soak in milk and the egg. We're gonna clean it up because Certified by Jerome says this. I know I'm not the most hygienic cooker, you know. Uh, sometimes I drop food on the floor or kick it to the side, but don't play around with chicken. It's something called salmonella. I don't want to get it. So we very clean when it comes to chicken. Still cutting down as your small bite-sized pieces. Small as you want, the large as you want. Okay, we're gonna throw them in this glass bowl. That's trash. Glass bowl. Glass bowl. Glass bowl. Okay, there we go. So we got all these small chicken pieces, see? And uh, we're gonna cut this right here. Throw it in, throw it in. Then we're gonna wash our hands. After we throw it in there, then we're gonna uh, put the make the batter and let the chicken soak while we wait, okay? A little bit of milk, then we're gonna put an egg in there. And we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna mix, 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 mix. We mix it and we're gonna pour. We're gonna pour it on top of the chicken. Let's spread the chicken around. Let's let it sit for a second, okay? Now, while the chicken is sitting, now uh, I recommend if you're gonna, you have some extra time, make this ahead of time. Let's let it soak up because the more it soak up, the better that the chicken will, and the flour will mix together. It turned out better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit to the side for a second. Be back in a second, and I'm gonna show you what how to make the breading for the chicken. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Cooking with Flo. We still got the elevator view because I'm still here by myself, doing it by myself because it gets kind of tough. Okay, we got the flour now. Like I said before, we are gonna use one cup of flour, which is all-purpose flour. So we're gonna use the uh, flour. We're gonna get one cup. Now one cup is equal to how many ounces? Don't know uh, eight ounces or something like that. We don't know. We're gonna take one cup of one cup of flour. That's about good. We got one cup of flour. Now we're gonna take this one cup of flour and we're gonna put it into the the bag. Shake it. We got chili powder. We we'll put that in there. About a tablespoonful. Uh, there we go. Now we're gonna put uh, parsley flakes. And not necessarily a tablespoon. This one look good, you know. Cooking and eating is all about presentation. And the presentation is all that matters, not the cooking method. Alright, uh, we're gonna put uh, some onion powder. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of onion powder. There we go. We're gonna put uh, seasoned salt. We put some of that in there. Add to put some seasoned salt. We're gonna put some ground black pepper. This is JFC, Drone Fried Chicken. Or FFC, Flynn's Fried Chicken, Lemon Pepper. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Uh, we'll put some ground cinnamon in there too. Just because. Okay. Got all these herbs and spices in there. Now we're gonna take it and we're gonna shake it up. Alright, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set the oil to cook at about, mm, we put it on 320 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna get that oil going. And uh, like I said, we got the flour in the back. We got the chicken over there. And we got the onion rings over there. Stay tuned, relax, sit back. And uh, see you in a second. We're not going to drop it all at the same time because we're going to take our time. We're going to enjoy cooking because cooking is fun. Cooking is a way to relax and relate and, you know, become one with nature. You know, even though chicken nuggets. Okay, now we're going to take the chicken. We're going to take the top off right here. It's hot enough for us already. We're going to drop the thing down in there. Now we got 20 pieces of chicken. Now we, we know when chicken is done, we cook one that floats to the top. That's what I always told. I get it all at the same time so we won't, you know, some pieces won't burn. But you would pretty much know when it's done because you would know when it's done because um, it won't cook as hard, it won't cook as much. Okay? Now we just want to make sure all of them are covered because this is the healthy way to cook. This is how you cook with phlegm. Okay? Now we see we got the chicken frying right here. And we pull them up. And that's, they're looking pretty good already. Alright? Now stay tuned and I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, right now we know this is getting almost done because uh, the cooking and the sound is dying down a little bit, so uh, we're gonna pull them up. Flim says it's always okay to burn something, just don't undercook it. Thank you. So uh, we're gonna take the onion rings. Now I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Flim. Uh, like I said, if you have any ideas for any recipes that you would like to see on Cooking with Flim, just let me know. Uh, or you could be a guest on the show, you know, 
I'm not shy, so, uh, well, I am pretty shy. I'm, I'm a shy individual. But uh, we're gonna have a good time. This season on Cooking with Flim. We got the chicken nuggets already done. We got the onion rings in the back. So we're gonna shake them up, and get, the, get as much coverage as possible. And uh, once these chicken is once the chicken is done, we're gonna throw these right in there with it. And uh, then we're gonna add some Caribbean jerk marinade on top of the nuggets. And there we go. That's the meal for you. <laughs> okay, now we got the um, the chick. The second round of chicken is doing pretty well. Um, it's dying down in the uh, cooking time, so because um, we got the oil hot already. So we're gonna let that sit there for a couple more seconds. Then um, we're gonna drop the onions in there. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put the onion rings in here. Move this to the side. All right, we got the onions, which we shook up in the back. Then we're gonna drop those down in there. Ooh, smells like what? Onion, baby. These are strong onions, too. See, true story, I don't really don't like onions that much, but I do love me some onion rings. Okay? Now, when you cook onion rings, like since you can eat onions raw, I don't recommend doing that because you will smell it for weeks to come. Believe me, I know. Uh, okay, that, that's that all the onions. Okay, we got all the onions. Now we're done with the flour. Let's wash our hands and cover this up and let it cook. And you know it's you know you know it's done when it looks good. Okay, like I said, onions you can eat them raw, but who wants to do that? Throw them in there for about two or three minutes and they'll be fine. Okay, now while we got the onion rings cooking, we're gonna uh, find a bowl and we're gonna put some uh, some jerk jerk marinade on top of it, on top of some of the some of the nuggets. And uh, so we got some jerk chicken, this plain chicken, has some ranch dip, whatever, whatever whatever kind of seasoning you want on top of it. Mm, smells good. All right, we're gonna take the chicken nuggets. I'm gonna put some sauce, some jerk sauce onto them. Then um, take the jerk. Now we can take the chicken nuggets, put it in a bowl, jerk sauce, stir it up. Now there we go. We have jerk nuggets. All right, we got the onion rings are now done. We're gonna put them in on the. Thing also. Okay, welcome back to Cooking with Flim. Now, this is the final product. We got the battered chicken, we got the Caribbean jerk chicken, and we have the onion rings. For a low, low price, you can enjoy this too. Thanks for cooking with Flim. Have a great day.